Here we are at Pan Am 360 with Eno Williams from EBBO Sound Machine. Excellent band from London, UK, but also with a lot of roots from Nigeria. But it's a blend of many things, not only Afrobeat, but also funk, electronic, electro-funk, a little jazz, uh, also some kinds of grooves, R&B grooves, disco, excellent blend. And so it's a sort of hybrid, hybrid from Africa and Europe. And finally, attending Montreal. Exactly. Hi, Ina. We're very, very pleased to have you. Hi. Thank you, Panam for having me. Thank you so, so much. It's really a thrill to be here in, in, in Canada. We can't wait to come to Montreal. We're so excited to come and play at the theater for a month. So we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be on July 18. It's That's soon. correct. And now you're, uh, we reach you on the West Coast while in the Rocky Mountains. In, yes, uh, in the mountains in Whistler. Whistler. First yeah, time in Whistler. Whistler. Beautiful place. Yes. The sun is out. Cool. And it, it feels like we're ready to bring the heat to Whistler. It's usually cold here, isn't it? It's a, sea, it's a ski resort I, I, I know about. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the so, best uh, ski resorts in Canada. I've heard so much about it. So we're so excited. I thought I was going to be able to get to ski a little bit, but there's no there's no winter now. There's no snow now. So so we're no, just no. gonna we're gonna bring the heat. We're gonna yeah, we're well, gonna you know, we're gonna serve the music. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need your heat, not necessarily the global warming, but the heat of video sound machine is well quite welcome. <laughs> yeah, we hope we hope we're gonna bring the heat, the fun, positive energy, good vibes, and get people dancing and you know, just spreading. Spreading the video love, which is what we like, sure. like to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know this band, this great band, since maybe, well, maybe not from the first album in 2014. I know this, yeah. this band is existing since 2010 around, but uh, we knew, uh, I, I knew uh, EBBO Sound Machine in 2017 with UA. And after yeah. uh, we just, uh, reviewed the uh, Doko Mien and, yeah. and recently pulled the rope. So yeah. there are five studio albums because there was the uh, homonymous album in 2014. Yeah. So it's yeah. a great it's a great path since uh, more than a, a decade now of uh, yeah. live music and recording music. So yeah. how, how would you see you know the evolution of that band? I mean, it started very much as a bedroom project. It was just more of an experimental thing, you know. I was sort of singing the songs, basically stories I got told growing up. I was born in England, but I spent most of my childhood in Nigeria. And I got told a lot of stories growing up as a child, such book tales, and they were all in Ibibio. And sort of at the same time, this is around 2013, when I was like sort of chatting to a friend then, Max, who was also the producer on the record and just singing so just gave him samples of like the stories singing the stories and he was like oh my god what language this is quite interesting it's quite rhythmic and then at the same time our other friends who were also working they also worked on the project with us when we started leon and benji they were sort of looking to do something along the lines of african and electronic music and so sort of the friendship our friendship working together sort of metamorphed into that myself and matt they're writing and putting songs together one led to one song led to two songs and then we had um, alfred who's our guitarist he's got the his highlight background he's from ghana and then um tony who plays the sh who's also plays the trombone he's got like a jazz background but also more electronic um uh, influence and scott who's jazz influence max's jazz influence as well and then we had um and someone at the time who's uh, brazilian so all these people like sort of brought like these different influences together with all our various influences. I mean, I grew up um, in, in Nigeria, but then my parents listened to a lot of high life, a lot of West African music, a lot of Andrew Kicho, a lot of um, Marion Keeper, James Brown, a bit of James Brown, a bit of Michael Jackson. So the whole mixture. And then of course, we also had like the guys in the band who listened to like Talking Heads, David Byrne and then So you've got all that influence sort of brought the whole metamorph and brought the sound together. But the backbone of course being the Ibibio lyrics, which are just the stories. And we sort of mix that with electronic music and we sort of push the boundary. And onto album five now, we've just sort of just kept pushing more the electronics, the synths, the moves, you know, and then sort of still keeping with the traditional 
um, African instruments as well. Yeah, I see. But uh, we can say that it's a sort of pan-African approach yeah. with also a lot of occidental influences because yeah. obviously you live in occident so so you, yeah that's you're true. part this of it true. you're a, we are true. all hybrids now and uh, that's you know, true. We are progressively white guys like me more african and you become more occidental that's it that is so true and then of course living in a place like london it was just it's inevitable because london is such a melting pot of different cultures i mean everywhere you turn around there's clubs you can go anywhere in london you can listen to african music you can listen to electronic yeah. music you can listen to punk music you can listen to pop music so it's like that whole mixture and that whole merging of like different cultural influences in london as well that's what has been able to like make us you know united colors of music yeah and also what is interesting with abbo sound machine is that you were there before this huge wave of afro beats uh, yeah this is true yeah we've been doing our thing slowly you know just slowly just you know kind of trying to shape hopefully i think i always say we're trying to shape what afro future is going to sound like because of course we knew afro beats which was um when we if we go back 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 in time afro beat we know was the inception when fella is who's the king of afro beat yeah. he you know kind of showed the grooves and the mixing you know, because he obviously listened to a bit of western music as well he went to school in england so he's got that cultural jazz influence as well but then obviously marrying that with his roots with his african roots was the inception and conception of afrobeat so yeah. i mean obviously we're trying to sort of take it a step further to what i feel like you know afro futuristic music will sound yeah. like in like in maybe in a few years from now Yes, you're closer to Fila music than the new Afrobeats that is closer to a sort of African reggaeton in a way. Yeah, it's more I reggae, think so. It's more West Indie than funk. Uh, Fila was more, much more about funk. Uh, yes. James Brown music yes. mixed with African yes. juju. That's right. So, That's right. Juju, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's right. So uh, That's and right. so you're closer to that. You know, you're close to a sort of a funk post afrobeat yeah. Fila, afrobeat and all the Fila, the anikulapo kuti family femi yeah. kuti also and sean kuti and all yeah. this well there are many uh you know excellent musicians uh yeah. from the afrobeat era yeah. Uh, yeah. starting with tony allen you're reproducing of course, tony, yeah of course tony, tony allen is one of our one of our one of our um like influences as well because we we like we like you know we like his work and we kind of just, you know, inspired by his work as well. So you can hear a bit of that in, in our records as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And finally, it, it always became a sort of excellent music with, you know, a high musicianship, but also a danceable music. And it's just yeah. fun music too. Yeah. So it's very important. How do you see the it's, last record in if you situate it in the five studio albums? What is the, the, the new achievement? Well, the new one is Pull the Rope. Pull the Rope is sort of more consciously aimed at songwriting. I mean, when we were sort of remaking this record, we we're focusing more on songs, on lyrics, on just song structure, because we found that people always want to sing along. People go and learn the songs in the, in the video. And then, because we'll when we're doing the shows live, we we'll always teach people what, what the songs mean, what the song's about, teach a bit of a video. People always sing along. So we felt to be a bit more inclusive on this record to be to try and write things that people can latch into, like warm, like ear warm to the phrases and lines, like sort of anthemic kind of lyrics that people can, you know, sing along to, and it just stays with you, and just just to be part of the video journey. So. I see. And when you yeah. perform live, well, for this tour, uh, <laughs> are you going to? focus mainly on the new album or play mainly? oh yeah we always mix it we always mix it up when the new of course we have to sing then we have to bring the new songs as well just to make people familiar so definitely we will be singing a lot of songs from the new record as well as even the first record as well and the second record and the third record because it's it's like a it's like a it's like a like a metamorphosis of of our work so we try to like bring people along on the journey because maybe some people have never seen the band before as well yeah well, yeah. we never saw in Montreal. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I could have missed it, but finally you tell me that you never came in Quebec. So uh, it's a great pleasure to yeah. have you. Uh, yeah, who will show up on here. stage? Are you, going, are you coming with the brass section and all the stuff? Yes, we're all here with brass section. 
we've got like yeah we've, we've got the we've literally got pretty much the whole band maybe but one but yeah pretty much the, the whole outfit and, and also, maybe a little a little surprise <laughs> so we won't ask because it's a surprise no so, no we won't <laughs> and the electronic aspect is very important too yeah we, sometimes it's electro funk so it's yeah. not uh you know it's a bland we we just feel the nigerian vibe but also a lot of stuff that comes from everywhere in the world i suppose yes yes it's because of all that like i said before all our influences i mean i'm highly influenced uh, by music that i grew up listening to as a child uh the west african high life and Kiba and jimmy kijo and some of the guys are influenced by jazz because there's like jazz background and of course post-punk as well who like david bank like tucking heads and then we've got william and as well who was like quite very very influential you know mm -hmm. uh as well uh in in the music because i grew up listening to he was probably one of the first synth players i ever heard in nigeria and i was quite fascinated by by his work and so this is you you've got like a broad a broad a plethora of influences across and also yeah, it's always changing it's, it's, yeah and it's also always changing, changing. Yeah. you have new influences of we course always... because every time you're listening to music to new music i mean like we're here in quebec and obviously i'm going to try and obviously the first i'm going to try and discover other artists as well and get to hear other music that i might not have heard before and then take that away and maybe learn something new uh, you know hear new music that i'm probably going to be of the final of a new final or something you know yeah you yeah. know Europe is sort of a uh you know very well established band but uh, yeah. about the rest of north america maybe in quebec it's an exception uh, did you mm. perform a lot in the united states previously or yes we've done it yeah we've done a lot of shows in, in america and yeah we've discovered a lot of bands out there as well so yeah it's always great to to come out of this part of the world yeah and you probably uh, realize that the the british aspect is more important in canada you know the british <laughs> influence yes yeah this is true this of is course. true yeah, Montreal yeah. is quite different but uh, it's the british uh, influence is still there very yeah. important too, because oh, yeah look, that's look, cool that's you, you, you're, you're, you're gonna enjoy montreal of course uh looking forward to it really yeah. looking forward to it and uh also, uh, what are what are the next projects for ABBO Sound Machine? Well, we are obviously on tour at the moment, and then we'll be uh, doing a bit of Canada and then a bit of America, and then we go back to do some festivals in uh, in England and in Europe, and then we'll be back back to the States later on in the year. Yeah, and, yeah, and we keep making new music anyway. What do you think about this huge vibe of? nigerian music right now yeah i mean to be honest it's always been there like i've always said it's always been there on the underground scene and you know it's music that just makes you want to move you know you hear the drums the beats and all that it just makes you want to groove and it's always been there and it was only inevitable that it was going to come up to the forefront anyway because people want you know music that is uplifting music that you can dance to so you know i'm happy for everyone who's you know out there doing their thing yeah so big yeah, ups to them yeah how is your band uh, welcome in uh, Central Africa or West Africa? Do you play and perform there? We've not we've not been to Nigeria yet. We've been no. to Morocco, no, but we've been asked a few times, but we're hoping to go very soon. Yeah, you should be there because yeah, it's yeah. a reference band. <laughs> definitely, definitely. We will we will be going soon. Excellent. Well, yeah. Ian Williams, I thank you so much. Thank you so much. You. So thank we're you welcome so much. in Montreal and welcome at the Nuit d'Afrique. EBBO Sound Machine will be performing on July 18 at the Fairmount. We're Definitely. looking forward. We're looking forward to seeing you. Lovely talking to you. Thanks for having me. Same bye with bye. me. Enjoy bye bye now. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Yeah.